in my early 20s, I was a photojournalist, and I read one day in the newspaper the headline, Danzig, Danger Point of Europe, suggesting that Hitler had designs on Danzig and that this could very well lead to the beginning of the Second World War. So I thought I'd better investigate. Danzig was the European danger spot. Here swastikas were everywhere to be seen. When I got to Danzig, I found that all the shops that were Jewish had Judy daubed across the windows and there were signs of anti-Jewish sentiment all over the city. On my return to London, Herbert Klein, who had been filming preparations for war in London for a film called Lights Out in Europe, sent me back to Danzig with a movie camera. One evening, I was aware of a red glow in the sky. He led me to the square in which stood the synagogue, and it was now on fire. I was suddenly aware of two hands on my shoulders. It was the local Gestapo, and I was thrown into a cell, and I spent the night in the cell. After that, I thought it might be a good idea to leave Danzig and make my way into Poland. I was joined in Poland by Herbert Klein, and on the 1st of September, I was woken up at five o'clock in the morning by the sound of German planes overhead. I felt quite excited, really, that things were about to happen. Herbert Klein and I made our way back to Warsaw and there found that most of the people seemed to have flown the city. We managed to get aboard a, a, a train with hundreds and hundreds of refugees and then slowly during the night trundled our way, way out of Warsaw. At about five in the morning, we suddenly heard the sound of German planes overhead. There were bombs falling around the train. Eventually, we managed to get out of Poland and head for Stockholm, and then from Stockholm to London and safety. Looking back on it, it all seemed to be like a sort of dream. <laughs>